Hey, hey, hey. It's Friday night. Yay. Day five of the spiritual challenge. Yeah. So I know probably everybody's out Friday night, but for me, I know Friday nights are a good time to kind of catch up with myself from the work week. So I wanted to make sure that we added this in as part of our spiritual challenge. It doesn't always have to be in our meditation room on the, you know, meditating, zoning out. It doesn't always have to be there as we discovered with our workday ritual as well. So how's everybody doing? How are you doing tonight? How are you doing on the spiritual challenge? Is it hard to keep up every day? Let me know. Post in the group. Let me know how the experience has been for you. I've been enjoying all the sacred spaces. I think they're really great. Hey, Brett, how you been? Haven't seen you in a long time. Thanks for popping in. We're on day five of the spiritual challenge. Each day we've been adding and building our practice. And yeah, I wanted to show that even some days when things can just get away from you, the day can get away from you, that you can still pull it together. You can do a nighttime ritual to really help you feel well. So I am actually, yes, I'm actually in the bathroom and I have these great lights and I can control the color. It makes me feel really good. So they're actually a little bit of that magenta color. Maybe it looks purple. There's a little blue, a little magenta. I have two lights and they sync up. So it's really nice. And so on our email tonight, we talked about it. So many different moods that you can create in the bathtub with salts and blends and oils. And actually learned a lot from um, Arkana Shunna. She was on my podcast a couple of times and she offered so many tips and ideas and how even in Ayurveda, the bath time ritual is really an important part. So I think it's important that we add this in. So when our days get crazy, when they get away, coming at night and cleansing and detoxing in the bath can really help us to continue our spiritual practice because it can get challenging. But I also know it can get challenging. And if we don't have that practice to constantly come back to, we can get really far off track. So I just wanted to have a little fun tonight and offer a few tips and then we'll take a few moments to breathe it in. So I have the beautiful magenta light. I've got candles. I've got my rose quartzes here. Rose quartzes are really good. You can put them in the bath actually, or you can put them around you. And it helps you to absorb the energy of the crystal being for beauty and self care and just making you feel really, really good about yourself. One of the other things that our Shunna told us about was taking mung beans. So these are like the ones that you use for kitchery and you just grind them up and then you use them as a scrub and it smells so fresh and it's so good for your skin. They don't really go down the drain so you have to clean out the bathtub but it is so worth it. Or not, you can always do scrubs. I have a little rose scrub. I have a little rose theme going on. Rose oils. And then your bath salt. So I take the bath salts and I put essential oils in. Throw them in the bath. Salt water is good for detoxing. Now one of the things that Ayurvedic teaches also is to take your oils. I made a little blend. Shea butter, almond oil, cocoa butter. Mm, some really good oils and put it on before you get in the bath and this helps the hot water helps it to absorb better into your skin most of us think of putting it on after so try putting it on before and it really really helps to absorb the energy absorb the oils into your skin and then the thing that you want to do scrub away I got my little gloves right dress up for the bath right have some little sexy gloves on scrub the skin really well and then just relax it's been a rough week, right? We all have things to do. We're all really busy. Hey, Heather, good to see you. But when we do that, we get into the water. Water is super cleansing. The salts are going to help detox, and the oils are really help for nourishing. And then you'll sleep better. You'll feel better. And you'll feel that part of your ritual, your fight, your spiritual practice continue to grow and grow and grow. Now, I know it can be challenging to do it every day. I've also been on a challenge with my Akashic Records group. We've been meeting three times a day at specific times for 30 minutes. So, yeah, it is a commitment sometimes. But on the other hand, when times are challenging, when we have a lot of stuff going on, this is exactly the place to come back to. So I invite you to have some fun in your bathroom. Find the things that make you feel good. Find the oils that work with your spirit. On the email that went out, there was a lot of different suggestions in there. And then just best of all, be creative. And take your time. Get in the bath. Breathe. Put on some little music. I love my candles going, right, along with the lights. And these lights are great. They're, they're LIFX lights. And I can change them to whites, to brights, or to all these various colors. So in the morning, lift up the spirit. Lift up the vibration. And evening, chill. 
Yeah. So definitely let me know what you do for your nighttime ritual, all right, and how this can add in to your daily habits and how that has been for you. How's the work one for you? How's your sacred spaces been? That's been fun to see everybody really bringing in their sacred spaces. I love it. In fact, it's inspired me. Big old cleanse going on, just pulling everything out and cleansing it out. It's kind of like moving it out the door so I can reset these spaces. It's been so inspiring to see everybody else's as well. So I know things get challenging, and I know right now we're right in the midst of that retrograde, and I know a lot of people are feeling like, ah, oh, I've had it. Don't give up. Return to your practices over and over. You'll uncover what's going on. You'll uncover the ability to move it out and to grow, right? We're all going through an up level right now. We all are going through an up level. Hey, Adrian. So raise up the energy. Do things that are going to help you to do that. And again, for me, I love this room. I love it. I love it. I love it. It feels so good to come in here at night, put a hot bath on, change the colors, shift your mood, use the great smelling stuff, find the ones that really work for you. And we do the same thing. We want to go ahead and do the same thing. We want to use our sage. Already got your candle lit. Clear the space out, right? Set up the space for you. Put on some nice music. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out. Exhale the week away or the day away, wherever you are. You can do this several times a week. It's a good way to continue your practice and also to go to bed feeling really, really refreshed. All right, let me know what it is you do. Let me know if you have a sacred space in your bathroom. Why not? We spend a lot of time in here. Why not make it refreshing, cleansing, and healing? That's an important part of having a spiritual practice. All right, now this is day five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Check out the email again. Don't give up just because it's over, right? Keep on, keep on, definitely. I'll be checking in with everybody. And also too, one of the things that you may have noticed these last few days as you're working with your spirit, you really may have noticed that you are taking on excess energy, that you are taking on things from other people, that it's not just your energy that you're cleansing down the bath, right? How many of you guys have noticed that? As you clean up your space, how many times do you notice that other people are a little bit more toxic around you? So that's important for us to get an, a grip on too. So I actually wanted to invite you to come to the webinar I'm doing on impasse. Maybe this is of interest to you. All right. Impasse Sunday, uh, Monday, Monday night, 7 p.m. I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live on six different types of impasse. All right. And this is probably something that you could really appreciate understanding. I'll be going over it and how when we know this, we can really help to learn even more about ourselves and include that in our spiritual practice as well. So I'll send some information about that. Let me know below if you're interested. Also, let me know again how your sacred space in your bathrooms are. Are you a shower person, right? We all know I'm a shower person, shower tapping, but I also love my baths. And I love adding this in. I love putting the crystals all around. Check out that, um, check out Arcana's book. It's uh, Ayurvedic Lifestyle Wisdom. Grind up some mung beans. Use them for your scrubs, all right? Definitely. Good, Brett, check it out. I'll post below the information, all right? Use your scrubs, use your salts. Let me see some fun pictures and check out these lights. I think at, at Office Depot, they have some that you could do Wi-Fi too. I think they're starting to become a little bit more popular. Check that out, not Office Depot, Home Depot. All right, but these ones are LFX, LIFX, and you can use them all over your house, however you want. They hook up to the Wi-Fi. So every day I'm changing the color. Every day I'm feeling empowered and feeling good about the end of the day, right? And then you sleep well. So yeah, I am definitely jumping in the tub tonight. I'm excited to get in there and just like kind of take those deep breaths while I'm in the bathtub. And I hope you'll do the same. Let me know how you've enjoyed the spiritual challenge. Let me know what's going on for you. If you're able to build the practice, all right? We'll have a posting of who won the prizes. I'll be posting that as soon as I do the tallies, all right? I've had a lot of people private message me as well, things that have been going on. I'm excited to hear for that. And I'll also post about the empath, the webinar coming up. All right, so keep it on, keep up. I'll be on the Energy Focus Sunday night. So let me know if you <laughs> slacked off in one day. I'm sure I'll be following up, but let me know how you're doing with these. And again, I really appreciated the group. I really appreciated y'all showing up and really taking to heart. I've had so many people comment about how inspiring it was to jump back into practice. We need it, guys. We're going through lots of shifts. Things are moving fast, so we have to slow down and help it along. Come into this practice. Really important. 
that we take this out into everyday life as well, right? Like we did through the challenge. So let's just review. Create a sacred space, many, more than one. Use your breath. Bring it in. Call in your higher guidance. Align your energy. Take it to your work. Do the same thing. Set it up. And then take a bath. Take a chill. And remember a few elements, all right? A few can go a long way in so many things that we do. Whether it's the physical, the spiritual, the mental, the symbolic, or the elements themselves. But A is air. F is fire, E is earth, W is water, a few elements. And as we balance those out and find those ways to bring us back into balance, we'll feel the wholesomeness of it all. So take that with you. Yes, keep showing up in the group. Keep letting me know what's going on. And I appreciate it again. So definitely I'm taking a bath tonight as soon as we get off with my rose oils, my bath salts, and my mung bean scrub. Yes, it'll be nice and yummy. Thank y'all. Have a great night. Refresh, renew, recharge. Don't neglect your spirit. All right? Keep on, keep on to your spirit. Namaste, y'all. Love ya.